Imagine you are ordering the measles vaccine with diluent from the national level for infants in your district. As part of this order, you include all the safe injection supplies needed for this vaccine, auto-disable or AD syringes, reconstitution syringes, and safety boxes. If this does not happen, health workers may not have the equipment they need at each session to administer the vaccine safely. WHO and UNICEF recommend that managers always order and supply safe injection equipment with vaccines and diluents a policy called bundling, so that the vaccines, diluents and safe injection equipment are always available together in corresponding quantities at the point of use. Bundling includes vaccines, diluents, AD and reconstitution syringes, safety boxes and any droppers for oral vaccines. Each item must be considered as part of a bundle containing the others. Note that this does not necessarily mean that items are actually packaged together in the same container. As a district or subnational manager, it is your responsibility to implement the bundling policy in your district. In this video, we will review how to do this by ordering the correct number of vaccines and safe injection supplies, storing and distributing vaccines diluents and safe injection equipment safely and monitoring the implementation of the bundling policy. First, you will need to order the correct number of vaccines and safe injection supplies. While bundling does mean that you order the vaccines and supplies together, it does not mean that you order the same number of each item. Recall that when calculating your annual requirements for vaccines and supplies, you multiply your target population for each item by the wastage multiplication factor, or WMF. The WMF indicates how many additional items should be ordered to allow for the wastage. This is the formula for calculating WMF. If your vaccine wastage rate is 50%, your WMF would be 100 divided by 100 minus 50 or 100 divided by 50, which equals 2. That means you will need to order double the amount of vaccine you expect to administer in order to account for the wastage rate. The WMF will often vary, depending on the item's wastage rate. You might have a wastage rate of 50% for vaccines, but a wastage rate of 10% for syringes. After all, Unused syringes can be returned after a session, but unused doses of vaccines may not be. When ordering vaccines and supplies, you should always use the specific WMF for each item. Let us look at an example. Say you are ordering the BCG vaccine for a target population of 100,000 infants. The wastage rate for the BCG vaccine is 50%, so the WMF is 2. You multiply your target population by 2 to get 200,000 doses required for the year. If you apply the bundling policy, that means you will need to order the corresponding number of AD syringes for that target population. Since the wastage rate for syringes is 10%, or a WMF of 1.11, you will order 111,000 syringes. You would then do this same calculation for the other levels of the supply chain. Note that if vaccines and safe injection equipment are handled by different departments, you will need to coordinate with each department to confirm that the correct number of items are ordered and distributed. Once the shipment arrives, Make sure vaccines, diluents, and safe injection equipment are stored safely. When packaged together, 
The diluent and lyophilized vaccine should be stored in the refrigerator between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius and should never be frozen. When the diluent is supplied separately from the vaccine, they should be stored together in the refrigerator at the health facility. If there is not adequate space, move the diluents to the refrigerator at least 24 hours before the session so that they are cooled to the same temperature as the vaccine. Also, never store products that could be mistaken as diluents, like insulin or muscle relaxants, in the same refrigerator or cold box as vaccines. Ensure that safe injection equipment is stored in a clean, dry, well-lit and well-ventilated storeroom. Finally, monitor the bundling policy to make sure that it is implemented at each level of the supply chain. For example, make sure that managers are ordering and distributing vaccines and safe injection supplies together and in the correct quantities. During supervisory visits, check that vaccines and diluents are stored together and make sure that when health workers prepare for an outreach session, they carry an equal number of vaccine doses and AD syringes, as well as any required diluents and reconstitution syringes, so that they match the supply to the expected workload. Finally, use indicators to monitor the bundling of vaccines and safe injection equipment. For example, one indicator could be the number of AD syringes available per the number of vaccine doses available. This should be 1.0. In this video, we reviewed key tasks to implement the bundling policy.